World Health Organization Egypt. organizes leadership transformation yes. program with the theme Building the Necessary Leadership and Management to Effectively Drive Health Sector Transformation. We would like to give a podium to Dr. Chapo to talk to <laughs> The men who are not here, and the women who are here. You know, when you do this, you need support uh, from people and organizations. And one of such uh, organizations has been NS Camps. They've always been with us, supporting us in our outreach. It's good to be here. We are grateful to you, always grateful to you. You know, to our program, it's not in our own doubt. And we also want to thank the leadership of the uh, society for organizing such a wonderful program. We are so happy and we think that in the future we will do more to support. We are necessary midwives and we work with obstetricians and gynecologists in our day-to-day -day work, especially when we find ourselves in this particular department or unit of every hospital. So it's it's interesting that you have taken it upon yourself to look at the issues of the elderly, especially professionals who retire. And I want to believe it's a good endeavor because we are all working, but we will all leave the work one day. And it's important that we take interest in the elderly and the aged health professionals who have visited the service and see how we can all, in our own small way, help to make their life better. But as you age, as the prostate becomes bigger, then it starts having problems. Aside of that, it's an accessory sex organ. So it contributes about 50% of the ejaculate and helps to nourish the spermatozoa. In fact, I met a young man yesterday who was all over, all over the place. I mean, multiple sexual partners and had prostatitis. And I warned him that if your prostate is inflamed, one of the problems you will have in future will be with regard to infertility. Infertility. And the exact words that I told him, I told him that, Mother, I need not be a yewi. And I will say, and we will say, and one of Yeah. So the prostate is an accessory sex organ. But like I said, an enlarged prostate starts giving problems. But the condition we dread the most is a C. Particularly when people go and do their PSA and it's elevated, more than four. Or they go and do ultrasound, ultrasound shows that the prostate is enlarged. By the way, after 40, enlargement of the prostate is, is, is no news. The critical thing is for you to, one, if you have symptoms, get it treated. And then make sure you rule out any cancer in the prostate. Because T1 and T2, by the way, my nickname in medical school was T1. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm a first twin, second twin, it's T2 years. So T1 and T2 potentially are curable. T3 with multimodal, you know, treatment modalities, hormonal, you know, radiotherapy can also be cured. T4, the bed is out of the cage. You may have to fully do palliation. So what are some of these symptoms? Frequency, getting up severely to go and pee. And then I was observing, I was just watching around. The other people, when it comes to this, you know, meetings, they don't drink too much water. They don't sit by the AC. And then, any time you get to a public place, the first place they ask for is a loo. If you are usher, you will think that they are undisciplined or they want to prove difficult. But they know their issues. Frequency, urgency. I always remember this truck driver from Medina to Central. Got to pay there, you know. Got out of the truck truck and then opened the door. The door shielded him from the world, and then he did it right in the middle of the street. Urgency, you can't postpone the edge to pee. Nocturia, waking up severally, more than once. In doing so, you have to rule out diabetes and, you know, infection and all other things. Hesitancy, you stand it for a very long time before the urine starts, ideally within two seconds. Hmm? Sometimes there's psychological hesitancy, somebody is standing by you, or 
making noise, so it will delay. That's all I'm talking about. In an interview with Dr. Ali, president of SUGAG, advised that we should always entertain the aged one in the environment, especially going out to funerals, church activities, and many more. Dr. Bernard Tobo, who was also at the events to advise women and men on the effects of po on prostate cancer, said that frequent exercise would help reduce prostate cancer, especially in men. He advised men especially should always exercise and visit the hospital whenever they are feeling symptoms at their abdomen. Richard Budi reporting from Nation One News Online. <laughs> Uh,
Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.